so today we are going to try to get stable fps on atomic heart with uh, this rig i have uh, i3 12 f paired with rtx 3060 ti all the specs you can see here the version driver version i am using is here 531.18 also i am not using any underclock profile or overclock anything like that so let's get into the game so as you can see we are in the game we are using directx 12 on 1080p vsync is off to maximize the fps so we are trying the maxed out setting like ultra is the max preset available in the game all the settings here dlss is off also ray tracing is on so our goal is to get like 60 above fps we don't want to go below 60 so let's get into the game and see how much fps we get or how much stable our experience is motion blur like really making things worse in terms of like visual quality i guess because i never liked motion blur i hated it i guess all the gamers hate motion blur so yeah for the sake of testing we are using it so yeah as you can see without any stutters or anything like here i felt some stutter other than that i did not feel any stutter as you can see in the frame time graph here also i felt some stutter so yeah there are minor stutters like it is not like completely stutter free you will feel minor stutters in between i guess that's a optimization issue like in the hogwarts legacy hogwarts legacy consumed too much ram like it was consuming in the entire 16 gigs of ram also last of us part one specs uh, are dropped so i uh, so it also required 30 gigs of ram to run the game on ultra smoothly on 1440p or 4k so yeah ram is becoming 16 gigs of ram is getting less and less for the games today's world game previously 16 gigs was enough so now 32 gigs is the new 16 gigs so yeah as you can see gpu is using 5.2 gigs of vram here game is like minor stutters you will feel without any dlss it is on native 1080p with rtx on rtx shadows rtx reflections and everything on so it you will get a smooth experience so let's go to 1440p and see how much fps we get in 1440p so now we are on 1440p as you can see vsync is off just as before everything is just as before on ultra so dynamic resolution is off dls is off fsr is off so it is native 1440p rtx is on shadows and reflections rtx is on so let's get into the game so as you can see still we are above 60 no we are dropping under 60 still it's playable but it is not our target fps like our target fps to stay above 60 like in more demanding areas it will drop down to 40 so we don't really want that so i guess dlss quality we should try on 1440p if you really wanna play this game on hey, rtx 3060 ti and i3 f on 1440p with 60 above fa you should consider using dlss on quality here i felt some stutters so as before there are minor stutters that's just optimization issue so other than that previously it was using 5.2 gigs of vram now it is using 6.2 gigs of vram 2 gigs of vram is still available so we can still max out the vram usage it is consuming too much of power I just changed my PSU and it is consuming too much of the power. I guess it's an NVIDIA issue. Like you should underclock it because of high power draw temperatures are also high 77 degrees it is running on. So to get the lower temps I usually underclock while playing. So as most of you would be playing on stock settings without underclock or overclock I would I am recording it on stock settings. So yeah let's turn on quality dlss also i noticed this game is not consuming too much of a cpu like not much uh, i saw in hogwarts legacy and all the other games so what i was doing i just want to turn on dlss on quality okay yeah 
so it is on quality now so now we are not on native 1080 uh, sorry 1440p it uh, we are using like dlss on quality everything is same other than that rtx is still on so now we are above 60 so yeah it's better minor stutters again six from 6.2 gigs of vram it it dropped down to 6.1 gigs of vram so 100 or 150 mb of vram it is using less than before but fps is more of like 1080p max out settings somewhat like that so i guess this is the better settings if you want uh, stable experience on 1440p on this rig that's a better choice to go dlss quality with 1440p also rtx 3060 ti is said to be like 1440p gpu it is not a 4k gpu if you really want to do 4k gaming but 3060 ti is not the gpu for you you should consider going above 3080 or 3090 something like that or 4000 series so yeah how much ram it is using it is using like 9 gigs of ram so it is not like hogwarts legacy which was using like total gigs of ram like 16 gigs of ram so last of us system requirements also dropped and i saw like it needed 32 2 gigs of uh, ram is recommended to play on ultra setting i guess on 1440p so 16 gigs is getting abs uh, obsolete 32 gigs is the new 16 gigs so yeah i guess you get the idea let's go to 4k now this is the best settings to get like 60 above a stable fps in this game on this rig so as you can see now we are on 1440p as you can see here vsync is off all the settings are here same let's try without dlss on native 4k so rtx and all the other settings is maxed out without dlss and fsr so let's apply it okay so let's get into the game so yeah this is really bad if he has to play a game on also now ram usage is above 10 gigs also vram is about to maxed out like 8 gigs of vram is available it is using 7.3 gigs of vram so only 600 uh, mb of vram is available for the rig to consume also this is not a really good fps i think dlss is necessary if you really want to play on 4k on 1440p it was not necessary you will get like 50 ish fps for the most part without even dlss but using quality dlss was recommended i guess i would recommend to use like use quality dlss so let's use quality dlss first where it is here it is so so now quality dlss we are using all the settings is maxed out with ray tracing and all so with quality dlss it increase the fps fps and really make the experience smooth so we are now getting like 1440p native 1440p ish fps like without dlss we were getting this kind of fps 50 fps and 1440p so ram consume also vram is now 6.8 gigs previously it was 7.4 i guess so vram is more available now so gpu clock is on 1845 1830 you can overclock it the gpu clock to gain more fps but key staying on stock is better so i guess you got the idea we are still below 60 fps so i guess balance is the better choice so dlss on ultra quality it have i didn't see that so balance let's try balance so balance dlss we are above 60 like previously we can really good fps from moving with from no dlss native 4k to like quality dlss but 
from quality to balance we don't gain much of fps but still it is above 60 so i guess you can play this game on this setting even if you really wanna because we if we go to performance dlss it will ruin the quality then there is no point of playing or with blurry plants and all the trees and all the stuff as you can see the stuff and all it will get player on performance dlss so i guess this is the best setting on 4k with uh, balanced dlss on max sort setting with ray tracing you can also turn ray tracing off if you want to gain some fps so currently we want to use max out setting so we are not going to de do that so i guess you got the idea how much fps you will get 